On to race number three on the programme and the third at Happy Valley on Wednesday night is a class three. We stay at the 1650 though for the first leg of the sixer. Monica heads them. Uh, is a winner over the mile at Chartin, but not here at Happy Valley of the 1650. Flying Sword runner up behind Alpha Hedge uh, last time out course and distance. Jolly Honor runner up behind Lightning Steed course and distance last time out. Sacred Ibis gets up from the 12 to the 1650. Naboo Star is first up for the season. You've got the two Ferraris runners, Blastoise and Magnetism. Smiling City a little unlucky last time out. And Charity Wings, close to a class drop, is first up for the season. Matthew Poon rides from Barrier 2. Naboo Star and Charity Wings uh, mark are the horses that have been up at Chumpha. Oh, let's have a look at the speed map, Andrew, and they might be walking here. Jolly Honor and Flying Sword, Blastoise and Prince of Fog, uh, Frog. There's no natural leader in the race. Magnetism, three back the rail like he was last time. Smiling City covered plenty of ground last start. Naboo Star, Charity Wings and Sacred Ibis and Monica are going to have to overcome a possible slow tempo pull. Flying Sword's one of those ones that can um, put a bit of pace into the race. You can see him uh, going nicely enough here. He's second up now. Uh, uh, look, he did run a nice second behind uh, Alpha Heads last time. And uh, he's come on, another one that's come on since that uh, run of his and moves nicely. Naboo Star, he's fresh up coming in. Uh, his win was off 61. He is up to 71 now, so he has gone up a bit in the ratings, but... His work uh, looks good, and he's always threatened to win a few races. He has run second off a, a rating at 69 as well. And Blastoise, the third one we'll look at here, a couple of even sectionals for him. Another one coming in fresh up, but he's had plenty of work, so he's going to be pretty fit going into this contest as well. OK, let's start off here with Flying Swords. Uh, now, he hasn't won here at Happy Valley. His only win today has been at Chartin over the 1,400 metres back in June. Um, March, June, Mark, but... Um, it's a good effort here behind Alpha Hedge. Done a great job, Andrew, with him, Tony Cruz. He's had four starts on the turf for Tony for a win and three placings. Only time he missed a top three finish was on the all-weather. He's had a trial as well. He ran a closing second behind quadruple double, but he is drawn out in ten, Paul. Yeah, that's what put me off the ten barrier draw. I'm not too worried about Happy Valley for him because he has been placed a couple of times there, but the draw did put me off. OK, what about uh, Jolly Honor? Also ran second um, course and distance uh, last time out. We've got Magnetism and uh, Smiling City covering a bit of ground out the back. Yeah, Smiling City, um, I think, was the best run in this race because he was wide, just sitting wide the whole way. Did, could, just couldn't get in the whole race, and uh, he ran on nicely for fourth. He was really well backed on this occasion. Uh, Jolly Honor uh, had the perfect run and, and, and ran second, but uh, keep an eye on Smiling City wide there. Yeah, we just showed that uh, portion from the 11 to the 800 where he was out there three wide. That was him the entire way, and he's still been good enough to run on to be beaten a length and a half. Jolly Honor every chance, but he's been beaten by an informed lightning steed, so nothing wrong with that. No, and he's the key horse, really, between those two replays we've just seen because he finished behind Flying Sword in that previous replay, finishes in front of Jolly Honor, but he was second up. Maybe that was the advantage. Uh, Sacred Ibis, uh, back at the trials. Um, I think interesting from the 12 up to the 16.50 mark. Absolutely perfect, Andrew. His first up run was good. He was last coming off the back. He was beaten four and a quarter and ran on over the 1,200. Taken back to Happy Valley by Tony Millard. This trial, this last 200 metres here, Paul, is very slick. Yeah, very good. And he has won off this rating before of 73. He's got barrier number four, uh, and it was a really nice trial. He, the horse is definitely going well. All right, 9.6 at the moment, Sacred Ibis. Alexi Bedell arrived from barrier number four. One more horse to consider as far as the third is concerned, and uh, that is Naboo Star. He's been trained by Casper Founts. Casper Naboo Star, he hasn't raced since April. He steps out for the first time this season on Wednesday night. Why has he had a decent break between runs? Yeah, he's had a few issues, Ed. Uh, you know, we've taken our time to bring him back to the races. He's had a nice preparation. Um, you know, he might just need the race because there's a few nice horses in there that have had the benefit of a, one or two starts already that have raced really well. Uh, but uh, my horse is, is a nice horse, you know, so hopefully going in the long term, he might be a horse that, uh, that can keep improving. But he's, he's not there at 100% just yet. Did you like his trial at Trungfa? I did. I did like his trial, you know, but uh, trials and races are totally different, you know. I mean, he, he, he'll run well, but uh, I would say he'll improve for the race. Every win here in Hong Kong is hard fought, as you know well, Casper. You trained your 900th on Sunday. Congratulations on that achievement. Thank you very much, Ed. What does it mean to get a milestone like that, though, Casper? Oh, it's great. I mean, in Hong Kong, I've been training for 17 years, so it's, uh, you know, it's a, quite a high number of 17 seasons. So 
we'll certainly be aiming for the thousand within the next two years, which is uh, achievable. And uh, you know, just keep going, just doing our best and trying to trying to get some wins on the board and uh, and have a have a nice season. Oh, he's having a nice season so far. Leads uh, the trainers table. London Hall came out of that trial actually. The Naboo Star one up at Chung Fa. He won um, first up. He's our 1.9 favourite though, Paul. Yeah, and uh, look, Casper just had a little word of caution uh, about that he's going to improve a bit. So if he does win this race, he's going to be in for a really good season. I have got him in there for second. I think he can run well. I put Sacred Ibis on top on the back of that trial and also the rating. The only thing that worries me a bit is the tempo. He, he will want a little bit of pace in, so we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Smiling City in there for third. No luck last time. And Blastoise, another one coming in fresh, I think can run a pretty good race. Uh, five, six, nine and seven. Absolutely massive on Sacred Ibis on his 1200 metre first up run and then the trial at Happy Valley. 1650 looks perfect. As long as they do run along quickly enough, he'll come from last and Alexi Bedell can pick up a, another win for the season. He hasn't been with the Millard stable very long, but the extra distance looks perfect for him. Smiling City did a stack of work last time, as we saw in that replay, and he was still good enough to run on as long as he is not flattened from that run. He should be there about six. And he's drawn out wide, so we'll have to go back. Hopefully he can get in. Naboo Star was a winner four starts ago and found plenty of bad luck following that, but his trial was exceptionally good at Chung Far. He just ran past them for fun. And Jolly Honor is going to get into a perfect spot from Barry number seven on the back of that second behind Lightning Steed. Five, really big on it to beat nine, six and three. Yep, he's in for me as well. Same four numbers, actually slightly different order. I got Smiling City win it, but good race. Race number three, first leg of the six up with a decent jackpot going in as well. All right, next up for us, race number four, back into class four for the fourth over the 1200.